Greg. Mike. Two bandits. Watching. Louie. This episode is called Escape. What up, party people, and welcome mm-hmm, mm-hmm. to episode 73. 73. We're back, baby. Two bandits watching Bluey. Oh, in case you didn't We're know. We're back, baby. See? I'm your good pal, Greg Payne. I can see him live in the person, and we're here and talking Bluey again. Finally, it feels like it's been And with yes. me, and yes. with me, my number one silence butler. Woo! Ooh, my, silence mm, butler. my number one science butler. Yes. And his name is... Jerry Lee. I go by Mike Martin. Hey, What's up, buddy? Oh, Long time. Man. It's been close to yeah. four weeks <laughs> since really we sat down and done this. Between my vacation, my missed week, we doubled up a week so that we would have time to... Miss a week, apparently. Last time we recorded, I think it was about four degrees outside, and it's currently 80, 40 degrees outside. That's the magic of Syracuse, my dude. Oh, that's what it is. It's not just how long it's been. Okay, good. Just making sure. I thought that I... Oh, I thought for a moment, you know, with it being that long, that you were trying to escape me. Oh! I don't know how you could do boop, that boop, to boop, me. Boop, 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 boop. Segway King Mike Martin See, added again. I've learned a thing or two around these parts. Because this, we're talking about the escape today, man. This is going to be who. I have so many words... <laughs> For this episode, I have so many fun things I want to talk about with oh, this episode. my goodness. I have so many cool things to share with you about this episode. But first! Such a hidden gem of an episode. But first! Let's see what our friends at Wiki Bluey got to say about... Hey, Greg. Escape. What's an escape? Mom and Dad tell Bluey and Bingo that they are dropping them off at Nana's so mm-hmm. they can have some time to themselves. The girls are outraged and imagine an elaborate plan to infiltrate their parents' private time i thought they loved going to nana's who <laughs> doesn't love going to nana's <laughs> what's the what's the but the, the parents anger. are doing another thing oh the so parents are doing another mm. thing you gotta be careful with the parents are doing something it must be fun so would it have better if they were saying like yard work pretty uh, much gotta, gotta retile the roof <laughs> this is I, I know this because i watched it about 12 times this week sure not for research for this episode but because this is Olivia Painter's favorite episode of Bluey. I don't blame. Full stop. This is a very underrated episode, I she think. She loves this one so much. She la- When I was doing research for it earlier, we, we don't usually do this. We usually uh, we also have an off cycle of record date and time from what we normally do just because life can We're get We're off the wall today, baby. <laughs> So we just sat back as down as a family four pack, watched together. So I've got some notes, and Ooh, I've got some thoughts, got, and some things child notes. to say. Oh, that's not fair. I don't have that kind of leverage on this. But before we uh. get into too much of the stuff, I have a couple questions for you. That okay. Are, some Ooh. some uh, table setting questions. Okay. How long yes. do you think they're escaping for? Long weekend. You think it's a long weekend? I think it's a long day? weekend. I don't okay. think it, yeah, I don't not think just it's just an overnight. overnight. Okay. Yeah. I agree. I agree. I, I didn't think a week. No. But I don't think just the afternoon for sure. I think a Friday to the Sunday in the Finger Lakes, hanging out on a wine tour. Right. Kind of thing. Yeah. A week. A week's a big ass for Nana too, because you're. That's that's. I mean, that's of course, we don't know where Bob is. It right. could be a solo help so, mission. But she. I mean, she. Obviously, they love going to Nana's outside of this episode. But, um, no, they do actually in the end. Uh, but I don't think it's a, a full week thing because I think when you get to a point in time as parents doing a full full week. Just dropping the kids off, it's you'd be like, oh, I do miss them a little bit. Having that long weekend is like, oh, I miss us time too. Yeah. So it's that balance. So the full week, the last time that we did full week, we sure. went on a, a cruise, uh, pre pre panty. Yep. Um, and by the last day, our plane canceled on us, and we had like multiple delays, and we're like, no, 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 we're done now. Get us home to our babies. <laughs> That's enough. That's enough fun time. <laughs> no more. Get me to my children. <laughs> The fun level is just completely dropped for Greg. Yeah, so I think long weekend. And, and here's the, speaking speaking of that, the next time we mm-hmm. have a escape, a week long escape, uh huh, it is going to be on another cruise that we're taking. Uh huh. Want to know the name of the boat? Nana. The escape. Is it really? Yep. <laughs> Boom shakalaka. It's all making Full sense. Circle. I Full love circle. that. But let's get into this lovely episode, my Indeed. dude. Indeed. We've started, we're in the car, we're on the way to Nana's. Hooray, Nana TV! Eat. Yes. <laughs> For all the times that they, they, they have a lot of those, like, tablets with Bob Bilby, and we don't have the tablets on road trip, oh no, mm-hmm. and we want to watch TV. 
they don't really seem like TV kids. There's not often that you see them just perched in front of a TV or a screen. Bandit more so than anybody. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's always trying to hunt down episodes involving, you know, he's watching cricket and getting everything he can off of that. But the only time I think that we've really seen them like attached to the TV is it, um, it's not the quiet Bob game, Bilby. is it? Is it? It's Bob Bilby. Bob Bilby it Thank you. Yeah. Store, yeah. And they walk in the store and they just stop and go look right at the screens. You don't see it very much between yeah, the two of them. Bandit. He's watching the cricket. He's watching this, that, watching the cricket in the... Most recent Aussie episode, which ah, we definitely didn't see because we're nope. not in Australia. How would we do that? I haven't the slightest. I, I didn't know there was a new episode yet. Opposite side of the world just doesn't tell us anything. Wait a second. All. What? Why are we staying and you're not? Hmm. This is outrageous. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> we're going to be in comfy hang mix with coconut drinks. No kids allowed. Yeah. Clink. The shades on both of them got some swag about them. Now, I have a question. Okay. When you and Carrie are having an escape okay. and leaving Finn, yep, are you telling him you're having a rocking good time, partying and relaxing and having the best of times, or oh, he wouldn't like it? It's this. Uh. He, if I told him today he was going to Nana's, that's all that matters. He's waiting at the door with a suitcase. He he can't wait to say goodbye to me because they're full on. Nana's gonna whatever you want, dude. Nana's got you. So want to want to know one of the biggest falsehoods we ever tell our children? Like probably that probably falsehoods is the nice way of saying super big lie. Hey, Emily, hit mute for a minute. <laughs> Cruises aren't fun. They're not for kids. You wouldn't enjoy it. There's nothing fun on a cruise ship for a kid. There's oh, not, there's not giant water slides, pools, cold as ice, ice painter. <laughs> God, I can't make it sound too fun. I can't wait till the next time I see them. I can't wait till the next time I see them. And it's called when it's they can birthday have birthday parties next weekend. It's called it, when they have their unlimited booze package that they can enjoy too. <laughs> you can enjoy cruise... in the bathroom, dude. It's how it works on vacations. <laughs> no. Oh man, we're changing the theme for Finn's birthday party. No, it's kids going cruise loud. mode. <laughs> we're gonna get into the the heart of this in a second. Sure. I gotta say, and I'm gonna say it right now. Uh oh. I love the stinking. Art oh, this one's nuts. This episode. This one's nuts. And Blue's not just afraid to just jump out so of the box. So much fun. Shout out Trudy Monteth, yes. who just chef's kiss work that she did with this art here. Stick around because we might have a little surprise near the end of the episode. Some Speak goodies. of that. But amazing art. Just so fun. It is. I, I like not just the art, but how we have like regular paper and then we have graph paper mm -hmm. and you can see the lines. It's just so stinking cool the way that they do that and the way, well, why do you need TV? Just use your imaginations. We mm -hmm. don't know how to do that. Let's see. Boom, boom, boom. And this truly is an episode that just, just dictates the ability of a child's imagination and also where they got it from. Exactly. Mm. Uh, shout out Emily who pointed out uh, as we were watching this together. She just paused, looks like, wait a second. This is kind of like a game of Dungeons and Dragons. Because huh. people say something and the other person reacts to it and says if they're do it right or do it wrong. Right? And it's like, yeah. <laughs> you should have brought yeah. her on this episode instead of me, dude. You nailed that right there. <laughs> pretty good. Have, this could have been another guest. And she's like, even the paper is kind of like that paper that you guys use, right? It's like, yeah. <laughs> why, is she, why are we not guest hosting this one right now? This would be great. Dang it. Because I'm sitting here like, did you notice the back seat and what they had in the back seat of the Jeep? They had a whole bunch of almonds. <laughs> And so markers. many almonds. It concerned me about the markers. And she's talking about how it correlates to a D&D &D campaign sheet. Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm out. The kids run in. Huge wall pops up. Nice yes. one, Dad. Oh. Eagle flies us over the wall. But there's a pricker bush. Good thinking, Mom. We're, we're, we're not only coming up with ideas, uh -huh. but we're being nice. Then, then blew you right after. I used the lawnmower to go through the pricker bush. Yep. This one, bingo. I, I do like how they... They go through the pricker bush and it just is floating there. Mo, <laughs> just great. The um, when when Bandit it gets the wall to pop up because Chili stands up and she's freaking out and Bandit just looks over and he's got his sunglasses kind of like uh, and then he smirks when he thinks of it. And when the wall goes up, um, once the wall rises completely because you see the clouds floating in the background, the wall the the cloud that's to the left of the wall hits the wall and it goes boink. And it starts floating the opposite direction. <laughs> I missed that. Like, the animation on that is just, oh, you're sneaky. I love it. Love uh, it. Speaking of um, his glasses, I love the bandit sunglasses there. It's mm -hmm. very Seth Rollins, new age. Oh, yeah. Little Full on. Those weirdo. I don't know how they actually work to block the sun, but go I for have it. no idea. I, I think I put them on once and don't recall the, the vision experience. And I don't think it was beneficial, so. And, and I, I can't skip this. I almost skipped over. Go ahead. It. The eagle can't come and get you and help you now. It's on the toilet. Right? It's on the toilet. <laughs> and you're already with that. So, Where's... 
what, what, kind answered. Of, what kind of dollar bucks is uh, Bluey throwing out to that? Because she's spending some sort of tooth fairy allowance there. Is she spending one of her five spots? Because I think the five spot is purple. Five spots for a pony ride? It probably look for an eagle ride, too. But that one's like a dark red color, so it's probably going to be more expensive. She's like, Oh, there's she, two kids on there, so it'll be $10 bucks. Ah, okay. So that's a, that's a full-on $10 buck with no tooth fairy. I didn't see a tooth fairy sticker on it, though. So they didn't increase the prices of what they're paying for the tooth fairy, but... That eagle's got stuff to do. He's he's like an Uber driver. Once he drops you off, it's it's go time. <laughs> literally, I do. So like, Bingo says that too, where she's like, "Well, I brought a lawnmower." <laughs> like, yes. She's like, "Okay, animation time or imagination time." Boop, lawnmower back pocket. What? They go down the secret hatch. Yes, different paper again. Different paper. There's it's, a it's, lot of paper. It's brown paper. Like it's almost like a. Like a paper bag from a grocery store. They're, they're working with what they got. They mm-hmm. got. They're working with what's on hand. Love I do it. like, too, that they got hammocks in the bunker. Heck yeah, I they do, do like that no matter where they go in the entirety of the episode, it's they got their coconut coconuts. drinks. <laughs> they they are all in on their <laughs> coconut beverages. Well, it's that. And then they have, like, they have, like, bags of chips in their bunker, too. Either that or, like, they look like bags of peanuts. But I don't know why they had giant bags of peanuts. And you're like, well, that sounds good, too. Maybe, maybe in my dream house. I don't know. Um, <laughs> can't chop the axe. Axe breaks. Mm-mm. That that was the when when Emily made the D and D comment, mm-hmm. and then they had that line. It's like, yeah, I can I can see like I use my axe to break the hatch. Axe breaks. It's like, <laughs> oh, oh man, little DMs in training across the world right now. This and is I, great. And I do like Bandit helping here. And Diamond, <laughs> Chili didn't like it, but he, he they're keeping the game going. Well, I was about to say, what happens after that? Then you still got another fifteen minutes before. Well, you have another four minutes before we you get, make bananas. We get a giant drill it. and drill down through your bunker. Ooh, see, see, I'm, I'm on. And I do like once they get down there, we leave in a car, and the car looks like all busted right. up and like little stains on the door or something. It's like no, a cool car. He wants a Lambo, baby. <laughs> a cool car. <laughs> but now is the moment. Uh oh, we they get away. What about our dream house car? Ooh, that's right. Dream house car. Well, they bust out. They hit that ramp hard too, and I love it because it pans out a little bit, and it's got that whole child vibe where it's got the sun in the sky because that's what the sun does in the daytime. But it's got that like dog smile, like it's got a smiley face on the sun, so you can tell like kids are drawn and having fun. Like this oh, dream sun. house car is the most epic drawing in the history of ever. <laughs> so let's shout it out. We've got 11 burger shops. Makes sense. We got 20 bedrooms. Yep. We got 40 toilets. Double the fun. And of course the spa. We've got butlers driving. Now here are some of the... We Uh-oh. we in our house paused on this frame of the reveal the of the Dreamhouse house car sure. for a solid 5-10 minutes. Oh man. And just shouted stuff out. <laughs> so Oh, you went deeper. So I'm going to hand this to you. And we can... I, I don't usually say this should be our picture for the episode, but I'll hand this this lovely picture over to you. We've got t- take a look at Butler number two pulling the greenhouse car. He's so angry. Oh, look at the intensity on his focused. face. He's so ready to cut them down. We've got a toilet that's got stink lines coming out of it, which I love. Ew. We randomly have a goldfish just hanging in one of them. <laughs> We've got give me my phone back because I forgot the rest of my notes. <laughs> We've got, ba, 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 ba. we got the flowers on the roof. Oh man, we've got it all. It's a very intimidating, wide load to see driving down the street. That is for sure. That it's, is that would be sure. that is gray nomads on steroids <laughs> oh, to yeah. the tenth power. How big is that house, man? It is a biggie. Um, it is a biggie. That is punch a it, house. mom. Punch it. <laughs> and so when when they see it. And she punches it because they're, they're they're freaking out. Chili does this look back, and it's it's where the an, the animation has that exaggeration to it because she cuts back and she looks and sees the dream house. She goes ah, and her eyes get huge. Well, and... we get to even before that. Just I love the little like she looks back and Bing goes hi, <laughs> <laughs> and then the freak out. It's so pretty. Like it reminded me of Donald Faison from Clueless when they finally go go on the freeway and he turns around and he goes ah, like she has that exact same look. It's perfect. I love that. Um, off to the airport. Yes. Flying in our helicopter. Destroying the Lambo. He, he's just, the car itself goes booking it and it explodes because it flies off the page. You gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> car is done. Draw a new one if you need one. You didn't have to explode it. Just let it float away. I don't know why. I, <laughs> I don't know why I love this so much. 
the way that mom says, see you later. Mm-hmm. It's just, it does not sound like her at all. She's kind of excited to get away from the kids yeah. a little bit right now. She's had a few of her coconut drinks and she is <laughs> feeling her feels. There's some, so there's some, there's some felonies that are going on in this episode outside of destroying Lambo. Cause I don't think that's just some, some fruit punch sitting inside of those coconuts. I don't think you're allowed to fly on an eagle either. Just saying. Drive flying at least fly in America. Helico- fly in a helicopter with a nice beverage. Hey, in your hands. Stay off our eagles. <laughs> We're Americans. <laughs> I'm talking about drinking from the coconut when you're in a helicopter, oh, that man. Too. That too probably is not great. <laughs> okay. Oh. Also, probably not good to jump out of a helicopter in midair with no just the crash. parachutes. <laughs> crash where it lands. Well, they have the uh, they have the detachable. It's okay. They have their detachable detachable spa. Parents don't know. Perfect. Perfect. Good to but go. We're, we're jumping. We're jumping over the introduction of a key character. Uh, of course. Because how do you have that kind we of spot? We push a button. We fly in the air because we got ourselves Jerry Lee, our science butler. The science butler that's holding Man. a hot fudge sundae for whoever wants it. I think that's what Alfred is now from Batman. He's not just the but he's the he's Batman's science butler. <laughs> he's a science butler. And Jerry Lee, sorry, Michael Kane, booty. You've been replaced. Just saying. <laughs> You've been replaced by Jerry Lee, who takes no guff. He doesn't speak at all. He's just there, and he, he lets his parachute there. land he in his head. He's intense, and he is tough, he and he does knows what he's doing. Not care. Now, when and they he has fly, ice cream. When they fly off with the rockets, because Science Butler punch out the the other butlers were still attached to the dream house. So when it pulls up, you see the butlers go no, and they fall <laughs> off the screen. I missed that part. And I was like, oh no, the butlers. We'll get more butlers. <laughs> of course. Better butler, science butler. I don't know. None is as committed as butler number two there. He was very committed so to intense. the <sighs> severed packages. <laughs> Giant plunger oh. flies out of the Dreamhouse car. Yes, of course. Sticks to the helicopter. Oh, this Look. is this is a great campaign right now. This D D campaign is legit. It's intense. I very much enjoy the spa parachute. That's smart. Yep. Jerry Lee fanning him on the way. Of course. He. <laughs> <laughs> and then when they land, Jerry Lee's just standing there, and the parachute just lands on him, and he just takes it like a champ, like, that's my duty. Dream we throw, house. <laughs> we throw cupcakes at you. I eat them! That's right. And that's another one of those comical jaw and that's hinge. perfect. Oh, gosh. But then it's game over. Yeah. We're trapped. Woo. End of a cliff. You win. It's you a win. million feet right. tall, or a million meters. It's pretty, a lot of meters. How many feet's a million meters? Three million? <laughs> yeah. I always, I always think that... Me- yes. <laughs> It's 3 million point six because it's always slightly off. We got it. <laughs> yes. I think it'd be 3.6 million, not 3 million point six, but I get where you're coming from. I'm picking yep. up to go down. <laughs> but kids, they're not done playing. Oh, Jesus, no. it's fun. No, come on. Give me a hug. Yes. Ah! Keeps the game going. Flip it on its head. Makes sense. It's, it's, it's we still... got four more minutes of episode. We got to figure something else for this next four oh, minutes. Oh, it's only two more, man. They're almost there. They have a scooter. The electric scooter. That's electricity. (laughs) Love it. And the Jerry Lee, the biggest turncoat since Hulk Hogan joined the NWO. My good, you put some sunglasses. Dropping that leg on Macho Man. (laughs) He betrays the kids, and for what? Mm. For what, Mike? Drinking and driving again. (laughs) Operating machinery is not condoned. (laughs) He is going full. Those are full virgin daiquiris in those cups until they get the time away from the kids. So, you know what? Clink until... Clinkity clank. <laughs> Off into space on a rocket ship. Makes sense, doesn't it? Diving from the wind. That, that could turn real bad in real life. Just saying. Diving onto a rocket Diving ship? Diving onto a rocket ship from the See? outside. I don't think it, they'd have to worry about making it to outer space. They'd See? be toast, literally. Roll for athletics. Come we on, We just man. want to love you. <laughs> that line is so spot on. <laughs> it's like the... It, because you can tell that... That's the that's the age that Bluey's probably starting to get into where you know, I don't want, you don't have to show me affection all the time kind of thing. So maybe she's got that like little bit of dad because I haven't gotten that yet in my world yet. He's turning six soon, so I'm getting scared that he's gonna start being like ugh, like wiping off my kiss kind of thing. So uh, I'm wondering if he's trying if they're trying to have that kind of feel of just you know well we do love you we want to show you affection come on <laughs> they're like no how long can you hold your breath. I'm not, I'm not going to take a challenge right now, but a challenge? I think I that'd would be, beat you. That'd be great podcast audio. <laughs> That's what I mean. Us just silently <laughs> holding our breaths for two to seven minutes. We'll save it for a time where you can't cheat because I know you would cheat and we'll do it when we go to, Whoa! A, when we go to a pool or something. And there see we, we go. breath underwater the longest. OBX 3.0. <laughs> see? Here we go. Missed opportunity last year. Ugh. 
I'll see you at the beach. Whew. Kids win. They Maybe. live on the moon. Mm. Which has a smiley face on it. <laughs> of course it does. <laughs> Why would it not? The it's moon adorable. moon has a smiley face and the sun wears glasses. Bam. It's perfect. Whew. They're happy. And we did it. They're great. They showed up. We're at Nana's. So mm-hmm. now it's time for TV, right? Yes. I like that. TV, sure. And then Bingo just, <laughs> like just an <laughs> evil Bingo, like, yes, I won. Either way. I showed I, you parents. I fake that imagination stuff. <laughs> TV. No, no. Let's get some paper and crayons and color. That's right. Nana, you are a precious, precious gem. Oh. And everything she says, what's this one, Bingo? Oh, the dream house car, you say? Oh, Jerry Lee, I got it. Great. Just the gran- granny-isms, the nana-isms that she does. The, uh, this is Because we're not quite at handstand yet. No. And the, that 10 seconds is just all handstand. Like that, just her, her nana-ing, and it's so perfect. Do you need anything? When they uh when they drop the kids off, there's two things. Nana has this like weird like balloon dog kind of like antique piece sitting there. It's very creepy and weird, but I think it's just like an old lady knick-knack they have. But there's a photo of the all of her grandkids, and... Muffler or socks and Bluey and Bingo look happy and they're kind of smiling. And Muffin is like uber peeved off in the photo, like yelling in the when background. You, when you get that many kids in a picture, there's no way you can get, <laughs> get all the perfecto. Smiling, <laughs> and it's always going to be Muffin. Come on, just give one smiling photo of Muffin in there. Let the girl be. How'd you get your imagination? Mm. I don't know where you get your ideas. Clickety clank, Click. baby. Now you can Parents have your beverages the there, beach. hammock boy and girl. Relaxing and Pooches. living a good life. This is such a good. Fun. It is just enjoyable episode. It's got enough of a lesson built into it, but it's just buck wild. I've realized as we get deeper into season two, I'm getting excited because Finn typically will marathon from the beginning of a season, and sometimes he doesn't make it that far. And so as we get to the tail end of it, I, I'm starting to watch episodes finally again and again that were not on heavy rotation. And this one made me super happy that I haven't seen it as much because I just loved almost biting into it like it was a fresh watch, even though I knew it was going to happen. It was and, really good. I and, love it. And a huge reason this is a good episode is the artwork on this. Fishy. Again, yes. uh, Trudy Monteth, kudos, kudos to you. We appreciate you. We also appreciate mm-hmm. that when we reached out to you last week and said, could you give us a couple minutes of audio? And we said, explaining you won't. Your- <laughs> we- <laughs> Dare you, coward. <laughs> she <is right> there. <laughs> And she did it. She sent us in a couple lovely minutes of audio. It's so great. Explaining the process, how they designed, what their headspace was. Whew, if only there was a way that they could listen to it. And I'm not going to do that one. Uh, oh, but yes, uh, we are. Of course we Here will. It is. Let's do it. Hey, guys. Thanks so much for getting in touch. My name is Trudy, and I worked as one of the art directors for the episode Escape. My department's main role is to come up with the look of the episode. So we basically design any new characters, props, backgrounds, and we create color schemes for the episode. Escape was so much fun to work on. It was literally an escape from our usual art style, and we were able to let our imaginations run wild, just like Bluey and Bingo did in the episode. Um, Regarding the dream house, it was actually surprisingly hard to nail the scribbly kid drawing style. All of us in the studio have studied art, and we had to kind of throw away those ingrained principles and techniques and just play with the design and not overthink it and get all perfectionist about it. Um, A handy tip, we mostly ended up using our non-dominant hand to get that scribbly look, so that was pretty fun. Um, Yeah, so for the dream house, um, we basically took inspiration from drawings that family and friends with children. Um, Yeah, just people from the studio that had kids, they sent in some pictures and we just referenced those. And from there, we just kept adding things that we thought were funny and made us chuckle. Um, For example, all the toilets that are in this dream house. I mean, yeah, (laughs) no house has that many toilets. It's ridiculous. But it is, um, yeah, it was just really fun. Uh, Escape was a really good episode, and the dream house was a lot of fun to design. Definitely stepping out of the usual bluey style and just exploring something totally different. Um, it was really good. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I guess the big question is, what would your dream houses look like? Thank Woo! you, 
again, Trudy. <laughs> that was so fun. It was Bef- before I ask our four questions because oh, Trudy threw us gosh. one curveball there. That's right. My favorite part of that mm-hmm. was how they said they had to use their non-dominant hand when they were drawing, dude. It that made that was so just like so sense. cool. It, it makes sense. I couldn't. My non-dominant hand for John <laughs> would not turn out like that, but I'm also not an award-winning artist like the good folks at Bluey are. So thank you, Trudy. So before we get to the typical H- three questions, though, e- she threw... Do that. Not a visual media, my dude. I'm writing the word hello with my left hand, and it looks horrible. <laughs> before we get to our traditional three questions. Yes. What room is the must-have room in your dream house? Oh, oh. The must-have room? Yes. Easy peasy. With with how large this house is allowed to be, my dream house has a bowling alley. <laughs> it has a bowling alley? <laughs> I would need a bowling alley for days, baby. Because basically, I'm thinking about annexing whatever this dream room is to my regular house. And that's what I would add is... Ooh. And then the smart thing with that, the smart thing with that, Michael, you could... Snack uh, bar. You could, you could be bowling and Carrie's driving or mm-hmm. Jerry Lee... Sure. Carrie, you need something to bowl with. Carrie Lee. And, <laughs> and then you drive down. If you get like a 710 splint, say break. Mm. Boom. Now strike. Scoreboard. Did it. Scoreboard. Did it. Hey, Greg, what yeah. are you throwing in your dream house, dude? I want a theater room. Mm-hmm. Big old theater. But I don't want just a movie theater room. I want a theater room that has like one of those fancy elaborate setups that has like all the video games. Okay. Them, okay. And just like a master controller that plays them all from one controller. <laughs> You got all the Hulus and Netflix and stuff. Just a massive, massive media Dang, room. Dang, with your Gaming universal. and movie in. Watch the Super Mario Brothers movie again. Do all the things. The... Play Super Mario Brothers. Sure. Watch the one from 93 for fun, too. <laughs> He's still going for Basically us. a Mario He's room. He's very passionate about his theater room. There are so many video games, too. There's just like, you can't play this game on an Xbox controller. There's no universal controller, so... There will be in my dream house car, okay. buddy. Okay, okay. Jerry Lee, get to science work. One last time, Trudy. Thank you so much. Super we thank you. We appreciate you, the work that you do, and just taking a couple minutes for us goofy little bandits over in America. It got me really getting, ex- getting excited to start hanging out with Greg again after about this month and listening to that audio clip. I'm like, oh yeah, this is why we do this. So thank you for doing what you do. Also. Thank you. Whew. Now... Yep. I still have three more questions for you, Michael. Start oh, yeah. with... Gotta get used to it. Okay. Yes. What's your favorite Ooh. thing today? My favorite thing was the thing you didn't notice. It's when the butlers fell off the dream house. <laughs> I laughed out loud so hard and rewind it three times. I'll show it to you in a minute. It's fantastic. Wonderful. Maybe chuckle real hard. Sorry, butlers. Miss you every day. We'll hire new ones, I guess. Or just clone Dre. I don't know. Greg. Yeah. What was your favorite thing in The Escape, man? We just want to love you. Yes. That line just <laughs> cracks me up. It was close between that and the... Uh, see you later. <laughs> just the, the parents not using their voices. There's some cheekiness so... in their happiness yeah. here. Like they're like, let's just ham it up because in about four minutes we're gonna it's be just partying. you and me. <laughs> party and party and yeah. Okay, so I mean, I'm gonna ask you anyway. But who is your favorite it's character? Jerry Singer. Of course, it's Jerry Lee, man. Butler. How can it not be Jerry Lee? He's the goat. He's he's up there. He's lucky level. Lucky's dad level. Awesome. He with is a side of ice cream. Is this his only and appearance? A little bit of racketeering. We're gonna have to keep our eyes open for Jerry Lee and artwork. I'm, I'm sure he doesn't bust out of the paper. Sure. And go on. But maybe he's screen. hiding in like. Why is, a- that where oh! went, why is that where I went first off with my head? I just watched that Megan movie. Maybe that's why. Sure. But we're gonna have to look at some background art. See yeah. if he sneaks in here and there. That's cool. I don't like. You. You're gonna have nightmares about Jerry Lee tonight. Dangerous Jerry Lee. Murder doll painting drawing. No! Ask me a question, man! How do you rank this sucker, Michael? I need to rank this episode because he is the GOAT, and I think he's just going to... If he's a one-off character, then that's fine. It's going to be that one awesome hot fudge Sunday that Jerry Lee is holding throughout the episode. Somehow he's doing it in the dream car, hitting the brakes, flying around. Ice cream Sunday. Mm. I, I think he's science butler slash ninja. Again... He's a, you don't mess with Jerry Lee, Alfred. <laughs> you don't mess with Jerry Lee. Michael Caine's got nothing on Jerry Lee. Sorry. So, Greg, how in the world are you able to even begin to rank Escape? I rank this two delicious coconut drinks with <sighs> who knows what in them. Drink. I know what. And I want some. And fly a helicopter. Dangerous human beings. Thank you, everybody. Yes! Thank you for your patience the last couple weeks. I hope you Super enjoyed our Patreon you. that we dropped. Um, I know I did. If you enjoyed it, why don't you check out some more of those lovely Patreons? Oh, 
Yeah. You can also find our socials, our TikTok, and a whole bunch of other cool stuff at linktr.ee slash watching bluey. Oh, it is plug o'clock, folks. Check your watches. Watching bluey at Gmail. Takes thoughts, reviews. Um, if you do a review, <laughs> it's been kind of interesting lately. If you do a review, it'd be cool if it was a review of the podcast. Um, Shout out, though. <laughs> I guess shout out to our one star review that just wrote a thousand emojis and nothing about our podcast. It was a one star. Yeah. Wait, why? I don't know. Oh no, no more laughs. I take back the last. I think one laugh. I think I think one star is gonna help. I've heard other podcasts say one stars help us too, but don't give a one star. And then we also had a shout out to our, our friend who um, I think has turned our reviews into their personal diary page, That's so which is fine, man. I enjoy Rock keeping up. up. I like keeping up with it. So appreciate you guys. Send us, like I said, takes things, stuff. vibes, whatever you need. We love hearing from you, and we'll chat with you. Don't worry. It's been a long week for us. We apologize that we weren't as active as we usually are, but we're back, and you're stuck with us. P.O. Box 2372, Woo! Syracuse, New York, 13220. That's here. Send us some stuff. We like it. Appreciate it again. We got the lovely cake cookbook Uh-oh. from from our good pal, uh, the Duff Man. Yep. Mike, yep. this week, is going to try to break out. I'm going to try to convince him to do a little bit of a video montage of his experience so you can plop that on the tiktok but he is duck caking let's see how it turns out i believe in you my little man is turning six and we gave him many 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 options and in the end he literally said bluey party so it's like okay then i have i have to i have to so you know what it's duck cake time folks wish me luck this wish Woo! wish me duck <laughs> no! and lastly and most importantly is it for a murderous butler ninja <laughs> because you wish go to jerryleed.au if you need a break from the kiddos, why don't you check out Turtle Cove Beach Resort, Ooh. an adults-only resort in the lovely land of Queens. That's right, Queens in Australia. Mm-hmm. Described as one of the best locations in the world. Oh, nut cups. Turtle oh, Cove nut cups. Accommodations is the place where the World Heritage listed Daintree Rainforest meets the Great Barrier Reef, Coconut one cups. of the world's natural wonders Same. at a secret location <laughs> but now we're gonna get there <laughs> the beach that's cool no that's between cool. port douglas and port cove go there check it out pictures are freaking gorgeous coconut cups turtlecove.com not au oh wow oh yeah. well secret secret location secret lo- <laughs> i really i need to go more places a secret location <laughs> dude apparently that's a way that's a way that, like where's your vacation secret Shh. locations are you there now maybe how'd you get there I, I don't know how I get there, but I know why I got there, Mike. You know why? Why would you get there? Because it's got to be done. Folks, it's got to be done. We back.